Thank you, Caroline. And our in-depth coverage continues. Residents in Newport County aren't the only ones dealing with this problem. Businesses are feeling the impact as well. And tonight, Iowa to Sioux reporter Erica Ritchie continues our live team coverage now from Newport. Erica. Well, hey, Mike and Shannon, I can tell you that signs like this here are posted on business doors all across Newport informing guests that they are closed due to the gas situation. And I'm told by the Newport County Chamber of Commerce that about 30 to 40 businesses on the Newport waterfront are closed because of this gas outage. And of course, as we all know, that has the potential to affect and damage their bottom line. But, you know, we found a couple of restaurant owners tonight who are doing their best to make the best of it. There's plenty of nutrition in our pints. Guinness is uh, all these microbrews and all that, so we got plenty of that going on. At the Fastnet Pub on Broadway in Newport, you'd never know they were out of gas and can't cook a single item on their menu. But food is not what they're looking to serve their regulars anyway in the middle of this gas outage. It's too cold for a lot of houses, so they want to go out and have a beer, so we're open for that. So is the tavern on Broadway across the street. Just trying to find something that people could eat. Owner Jim Blumel says he threw together a limited menu filled with items that didn't involve cooking with gas. Salads and soups. And he did so because this is what greeted patrons at shops and restaurants down the rest of Broadway. Despite hundreds of utility vehicles mobilized and deploying from the old Newport Grand and the good attitudes of more than a thousand utility workers trying to mitigate the problem, options for residents are at a minimum. Just to stay open and be a place for people to come to. And if we get serve them food, we'll do it, and we're doing our best to do that. And whether the business is open or closed, most are running space heaters and faucets, doing all they can to keep the pipes from freezing. Got to keep it going because we want to be open. Because back on, we want to be fully operational. Burst pipes are a nightmare in this business. Yeah, so back over at Gurney's where Caroline was just a short time ago, the Newport Chamber is set up over there for businesses ahead of any potential disasters. Of course, they, they hope that doesn't happen, but they're going ahead and making referrals to those businesses in the event that they find themselves in one of those dire situations. In addition, uh, the director of the Newport uh, County Chamber told me earlier tonight that several unaffected businesses, both here on the island and statewide, have reached out to them offering a assistance to the ones that are currently shut down. So there are some good things happening in the middle of this nightmare. That's the latest live in Newport tonight. I'm Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.